History is obviously about understanding the past, but it's also um, about understanding how the past is influencing the present. For instance, we can try to understand how past historical phenomena, such as uh, the Second World War or colonization, are influencing the present. I think it also helps us to um, understand how we live in the present, and more than that, how we see the future. And the way we see the future is influenced by how we consider the past and how we understand the past. Within historical sciences, I have chosen to digital history because for me, digital history is a way to understand our digital present. For instance, digital history can help us understand um, generative artificial intelligence because those AI are embedding views of the past. But digital history is also about using tools, today's tools, computers, networks, digitization, to better understand the past. Well, as historians today are more and more using digital tools, then we need to better understand how they are working and how to cite them uh, to better understand the past. That's where our project, the Journal of Digital History, comes in. We allow authors to, on one side, publish quite traditional articles, but on the other side, publish about their methods, their data set, the code they had written uh, to analyze their data set. With that kind of articles, readers can assess uh, the data sets, the code, the tools, the methods, the results of the author research. They can also play with the code so they can change and test the hypothesis of the authors. The launching of the Journal of Digital History has been quite a huge success with a strong support from the digital history and digital humanities communities. We have become um, a reference for other journals who wanted to innovate a bit more, and that's a pretty good achievement. Science is about learning from the world, including its past. <laughs>